the members who are coming forward to share their knowledge at the quickest point of introduction of technology the way our panelists have adopted in using their day to day activities using of ai in their day to day activities is actually a testimony that our profession is so agile that in one of the corners of the country there is one person or there might be tens of people who are adopting technology in a true spirit friends many of we use tally as a normal software in our day to day practice for auditing few of them for accounting or for filing of gst returns tds returns and many more but the future that we are predicting and the things that are on the place before us is all ai driven things so now we are going toward the next use case by deepak payal over to you deepak ji hello everyone uh, hello ms ji and uh, uh, thanks for this opportunity uh, to of course ms sir and of course ici uh, for uh, uh, this opportunity so uh, today i am just uh, sharing my screen uh, hope everyone can see it is it yes. visible okay great thanks so automation in ai uh, automation with ai so we all know like when we talk about ai ai was ai was already there but chat gpt has like tremendously uh, like uh, extrapolated the use of it and like now everybody is talking about ai um of course this session this particular uh, presentation is for tally only uh, for myself i am using ai in my day to day task like i have to say that it's a, it has increased my pro uh, production level to like four to five times uh, be it uh, drafting be it coding be it anything so uh, when we talk about automation like uh, so uh, this is one of the slide i just wanted to share like in all of my slides in ai so this is real uh, real uh, use case not for literal tally but uh, the the use case of ai is a photo.com so this is the photo of my parents which was just very small photo in a black and white and with just two click what ai has done to it like it has tremendously increased the def, uh, high, it has made it high definition and it's it's, it's on, on my wall of my parents bedroom right now so just 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 wanted to show this to the audience so uh, going forward how to use chat gpt or ai for automation the question arises okay we have already discussed like uh, uh, my previous panelists has already discussed about in details and i think maybe maybe quite few things would be repetitive also but my answer would be that just start asking so we with the llm model i, I would i would say chat <coughs> chat gpt of course is a free version it's free ask and ask again this is the way to train the model this is the way to train ourselves so if i go to uh, like if i discuss about tally automation of tally or any 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 software any task in our office i go to chat gpt and ask just ask how can i do it how can i do it what is the best way to do it so uh, going forward to uh, the tally uh, so today I, i want to share one of the used case in tally what we uh, did for automation so just wanted to brief uh, everyone i think uh, here in the participation panel also that uh, in the last year tally has a tally 4 tally prime 4 has introduced a very good feature which is import so in the import you can see this particular feature is i think the uh, is the like uh, uh, drastic has drastically changed the usage of tally now we can import any transaction any data directly from excel be it bank transaction be it sales transaction be it anything i will not go into the detail how to do it but because it requires quite a i think a very long time or it will require a very uh, like one hour, one hour uh, class for the same to how to do it but uh, i think tally has many uh, videos many online courses for this i think you can do it you but it's very easy very easy when you just configure it and i think we are doing most of our task for our or a semi clients with this only it's free of course you don't have to pay any extra penny to this so it's one of the best thing i think which tally has done uh, in uh, its 4 point uh, like tally prime 4 version uh so what we have done so for example you can see uh, i'm just sharing uh, two uh, two of the templates like one is the sale voucher another one is a bank voucher but how do you, how we do it i will have just taken only very few samples here uh so for example same wise i have created dummy accounts and i have created dummy bank vouchers uh how how these are important i'll just show you uh for for the audience so we'll just go here we import transaction we go to the excel we select the path 
we select the file, we select the sheet. For example, I have to import the sales voucher which I have entered there. And uh, it, it imports with the uh, stock item wise also. So here is a mapping template. Uh, most Some of the templates has to be mapped. I think that mapping is very simple. I will not go into detail how that mapping has to be done because that will take some time. So it's accounting voucher. You have to pre uh, preview it, yes, and then uh, backup. Okay, it asks for backup also. That's that's up to you only. So see, now I have imported one sale transaction here, and then I'll create import. So it will show you oh, so something had happened. I think I was changing something. Just did you use the template of sales? You used, I think, bank. Uh, import sales voucher. Oh, I use bank. My my mistake. Thank you very much. So now it's showing me two counts and then I can see the import successful, enter. So I'll do the day, day book and it's showing me the both the vouchers which I've imported from the Excel. And it's I, I'll show you it's showing stock wise entry. All the stock items are also considered in it. So I'll not go into the detail how this is done, but one thing I just wanted to share here, how I used AI to improve this basically. So uh, when I was, when we were using it, so one of the problem which we faced here is that these ledgers, which we are mentioning like uh, the party name or anything. So uh, tally, uh, tally requires that those ledger names should be exactly same, which are in tally. So sometimes what happens because there, if there is a spelling mistake or ledger is not created, so we end up doing mis uh, like uh, that, that water voucher is not important and then have that has to be done manually. So again, I asked, we asked ChatGPT how to improve it. So there is a feature in uh, Tally, which I think uh, one of the panelists has already uh, highlighted. You can go to the get data and then you can go to the other sources. And then you go to the uh, from ODBC server. So what is ODBC server? So Tally has its own ODBC, ODBC server where it behaves like a server and can interact with any of the local software in the, your computer. So you will select Tally ODBC server here. Uh, then you will click OK here. And then you can see uh, within a few seconds, you will see it is connected. So dummy is my company name, which is open right now in Tally. You can see dummy, the company name. Uh, you can see the company name here and all the tables from the all the tables from the tally are here you can see everything you can import each and everything all the tally all the data entries all the transaction all the cost centers right now what we did we just uh, filtered ledger here we went to we selected the ledger here and we just pressed ok button so as soon as i pressed ok button uh, i'll try it maybe it'll take some few seconds for the same okay so see it's extra it has real time extracted all the data this is the dummy company so no there is no much data here and then i have just uh, hidden all these like the extra rows which are which were not required then uh, what we did we, uh, we know how to use excel of course and again you can use chat gpt for that also i used it so i used data validation from those sheets like the ledger sheets uh, which is here and then one of the stock item sheet also I just required it so so we use data validation here so for example if I uh, enter any wrong name here it will do red and it will not allow and if I have, uh, I have to enter any data for example so it will give me the list of the data so you have no uh, new data local one local two local three and then you can just directly enter that and in case there is new data for example there is local seven so it will uh, show as red and then what we do we go filter to filter here and we just select this and when then there is a data creation sheet we just uh, paste here and again uh, sorry we just paste here the data seven and then again we can go to the tally import functionality here as we discussed import functionality with there we can go to the master and just import the data as we did earlier with the transaction and then we have those data also and again after importing you can again go and uh, just go to the data tab and you just have to press the refresh button so for example, now uh, there is, uh, so I haven't changed anything, uh, therefore it's not refreshing. So you just just have to press refresh button here and see the local letter four, I think I was, I just added it uh, before the presentation. So local letter four is added here automatically. And then it is auto automatically again added back to the uh, this sheet. Now I can see lo local letter four also there. So there is no, uh, no chance of mistake right now. So one of the error which we were facing when we were uh, importing the same, uh, so the, uh, we have avoided that uh, chance of error also. And now our hundred, uh, we are importing each and every transaction with 100% accuracy, be it a bank voucher. So we just ask from our client with the details. Narration is already there in the bank statement, which is important in Excel. And we just have to plot. We just filter the narration and plot the ledger name here. It's just copy paste and we just import it. It's just 
uh, I think five to ten minutes job for uh, simple SME transactions. Maybe for a big transaction, maybe around a half an hour it's taken. But we have drastically reduced the time of uh, importing, uh, uh, like manually entering the transaction or importing it with, with other features which are already there in the market. And again, it's free of cost. No extra, no extra uh, penny has to be uh, spent for this. It is already built in Tally, and it's a wonderful feature in Tally which can be done. And not only bag voucher and anything can be any field can be have or altered like in the mapping you can go in the mapping and you can uh add add on like multiple thousands of fields here uh, whichever you want to import here so i think th that's it i'm not going into the detail of the mapping because i think that will require some extra time but um, uh, that's uh, that's something I, I just wanted to discuss today and um, i guess uh, uh, that's it for the day thank you thank you deepak ji you have shown a, a use case how Excel and how tally can be used.